What other teams this offseason? Yeah, what is it? Who's the other team? And The know, AFC fell off a little this offseason, yeah, I think, as I, a whole. And I think the biggest thing, and, and starting, I guess, from – who fell off the most, I think Buffalo. I think watching what Buffalo has built over the last few years, especially, you know, retired a year ago, being in that division and seeing the years of domination that we would beat Buffalo. And the next thing you know, it's like four in a row that they beat us and then we would kind of get a win in there and then play later in the season, they would blow us out. So, but to watch just so many guys, like the whole defense kind of just be gone. And now we're all sitting here like, okay, what are they going to do? Like, how are they going to replace this? This isn't a rebuild because you have a quarterback yeah. who's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Right. So just right. looking at them in a way and, and how they've lost so many guys, to me, I look at Buffalo and say, wow. Yeah, they're they're unknown. I mean, me and you, we were more part of that crew That's that true. we weren't yep. sure they were going to make the playoffs mm-hmm. last year because we're like, man, they got a little older, right? Von Miller injury. Who's that difference maker Making in the up. front seven? Milano's going to be coming back from injury. Jordavius is gone, uh-huh. like we talked about. You said it, the safeties are gone. There's no more digs on the offensive side of the ball. <laughs> Think of you, whatever you might. I mean, he's still Something damn different. good. <laughs> so, like, it, and then also, yeah, there's some unproven commodities. Like, right, can Khalil Shakir, you know, the, yeah. can he carry the, uh-huh. the workload or an extra workload, right? Does Curtis Samuel come in there and stay healthy? Right, Dalton Kincaid, does he make the next Excellent. step? Yeah. What's the offense look like? I'm with you. I, there's to, definitely yep. questions there mm-hmm. to go. Are they going to be quite the same? I think we both think they're probably going to be a pain Similar in the good. butt, yeah, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. But but it's like how good? With Josh Allen, you feel like no matter what, they're still they're gonna going be to be in the there. game yep. and they're going to be a pain in the butt. We know that. But like I mean, listen, I look at the AFC just real quick and go, Baltimore has got some of those same things. Yeah, yeah. They lost a ton of players. Mm-hmm. That old line, what's that going to look like? Right? There's no Patrick Queen. Marlon Humphrey's a yeah. year older. Yep. Right? Ch- Chuck Clark gone see you later Mm -hmm. right so there that's another one where I go hey those are like two of the teams we look at to challenge the Chiefs Mm -hmm. and I got to kind of see them at first to really buy in because they brought like they brought in Derek Henry right I I like Nate Wiggins coming out of the draft of course so again you're like I like it but we got to see it exactly we got to see it a little bit Houston made some big moves big moves big moves (laughs) Houston you look at and go I think everything should be ready should for prime time, yep. right? Except only – here's my one worry. You see, if, I, I said this to Florio the other day. I worry that they're young and that they're mm-hmm. a little bit like, hey, we went to the playoffs last year and, and then it was now awesome. we added guys. And, and now we yeah. added guys and everybody expects it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, C.J. Stroud is a star now. My son thinks he's him. You know, that's so – that it's a different mindset. And, yeah. like, I'm, that's my thing is, like, are they ready for what's coming for them? And I'm interested to see how much – Nick Casario brings in some of the Patriot kind of atmosphere to the offseason. Like some of our hardest offseasons was right after winning a Super Bowl. Just like the reminder of this is really hard to do. And I think this team is going to need that constant reminder of we didn't do anything last year. I know we're excited because a lot of people on the outside thought we were going to be bad and we win and we won a playoff game and then we got to go to Baltimore in a division. But the guys that are in there, D'Amico Ryans, Nick Casario, the guys that are running this operation, they have bigger aspirations. Yeah, and I think exactly. sometimes, right. like you said, with a young team, it has to be that constant reminder of, hey, I'm not trying to make this place miserable, right. but I also want us to realize there are a good amount of teams who win a wild card game and then lose in a divisional, and they can end up doing that year after year after year, and all of this potential goes out the window. Right. And I'm, I'm with you. I love everything they did. Yeah. Like, and I love that it's not just the draft where we're talking about all they draft. Because – I kind of get annoyed when it's like, well, they drafted this guy. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. we don't know don't how that know. works. He's a kid. Like, it's going to be getting used to the NFL world. No, I thought CJ Stroud would be what he was right, last year. Right. And I know everybody's like, oh, no, yeah. we knew. No, nobody knew that. Yeah. So I love that as Daniel I had a Hunter. one tier one, just yeah. so you know, by himself <laughs> coming out. Just so you know. Only him. Only him and by himself. Right. If you don't know, listen to Chris <laughs> Sims. He knows what he's doing right Every now and then. Every now and then. <laughs> but I do. I think, yeah. I think they had the best offseason for a team to come out and say, hey, we're going to take this like this huge step forward. Right, right. Into, we're good, but we're going to put all the right pieces yes. where we needed it, and now we're going to be like, oh, yep. watch out, good. And there's some other teams I think I think Tennessee has to feel good about getting Calvin Ridley and doing different things. I think that they have to feel good about that. Yeah. Uh, but, like, will they be in the, this category to, to be a contender to Kansas City? I don't know about that. Yeah. Um, but I think they're going to make the AFC South interesting. I think – 
I think that whole FC South, I think Jacksonville, I think Indy, I think Up they've for grabs, all, right? they've tried bit. to do a yeah. better job yeah. this year off right. season to say, hey, right. I know everyone thinks Houston's about to run away with this, yes. but we're going to be competitive. So Yeah, Houston slips up. Like uh, just a little bit. That could be very. And Jacksonville still got talent there. Yeah, There's exactly. No doubt. The yep. Colts aren't a bad football team. We know. Yep. Right. And Tennessee, I think, is better than people. So we're getting down into this conversation as the AFC. We're. I think what we're saying is we think Cincinnati will be real yep. with Kansas uh -huh. City. We think Houston's going to be real as long as they can manage expectations yep. a little bit. We want to see Buffalo and Baltimore a little bit. We know mm -hmm. they're going to be good, but how good, I yep. guess, is my question, right? But then there's some teams under the radar. Like, does, does Harbaugh turn around the Chargers? I don't think that gets to that point mm -hmm. yet, but pain in the butt in the AFC. Yeah. And I think Harbaugh makes us question that we think that maybe it doesn't, just because of his track record. Exactly. He's, he's done such a good exactly. job. Um, he's going to run ISO right better than anybody in football. They're going to have to play D. I don't, and... I don't really trust what they have at receiver. No, I, like, it's, you know, it's valid. And I think Herbert a really good quarterback right but that's a lot to lose mike yeah. williams keenan yeah. allen right like that that's going to be interesting to see yeah yeah they got their hands full mm -hmm. so but here's two other teams i think we should throw out just into the conversation here for as we sit right now let's not forget about the jags okay. yep we know they got mm -hmm. and they did some good retooling this offseason as well and then the guy that's you know annoying in our ear sometimes <laughs> the jets all right <laughs> The freaking Jets. The Jets are certainly one of those teams yeah. that we can't forget about. It's an awesome roster. It is Aaron Rodgers still. I know we all got to see that and all that, but mm -hmm. I do look at them to be as a team that didn't make the playoffs or dark horse team that we could go, ooh, they could be a real player in the AFC. And I think it helps them what they went through last year. Yeah. At this time last year, all we kept hearing about, and not necessarily from the players, but just – Everything surrounding this team was they're going to go to the Super Bowl. This yeah, is our right, year. To, right. And I think because of Aaron Rodgers getting hurt, you have all these Jets fans and everybody's kind of like tiptoeing. All right, oh, we should be okay. Hopefully we make the playoff. And I think that kind of breeds more into what they want to do this year. They're, they're a team in New York, New Jersey, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. There's always a lot of hype surrounding them. They're always battling against the Giants for that kind of – right fan favorite team yeah. but I think this year with Aaron Rodgers everybody, I think they're going to kind of just ride right under the radar yeah. and be able to Looks just like play it. football right not worry about being on hard knocks and doing yeah. all the other stuff just focus a hundred percent on football and being a better team and I think again I think they're a scary team because I think of what happened to Buffalo now you look in the AFC East and you're like Okay, Buffalo should be the favorite, but, but Miami's there. Miami's going to have, you know. I think Miami's another team to question here a little bit. Phillips is coming off injury. Chubb's coming off injury. O-line's got issues. Yes. Right? So, they lost their best guard. Their center's not there. Christian Wilkins is gone. Uh, yep. And right? this is a team with, yes. even with all those guys, yeah. I think a lot of us felt like, yeah, they're a good team, but until they run into the the Chiefs or that one team in the playoffs that are going to just come out and be physical and aggressive. Right. and they win a tough, physical, gritty whether game. Whether it was going to be the Chiefs, Baltimore. We just right. felt like, well, if they have to play them in the playoffs. Yeah, they're not going to beat them. They're not going to win. Right. So yeah. you're already coming off of that, and then you lose some Christian some Wilkins. Some of those guys. Tough, physical player. Right. So, again, I, yeah, I think the AFC East, I think if I'm the Jets, we don't need to talk about it. Yeah. But if I'm in that building, I'm like, hey, the AFC East is ours this year. Yeah. Like, this is how we right. have to train. This is our mentality. We're going to go snatch the AFC East. So, I like it. I hear you. I hear you. I'm, I'm with you there, too. I think that's, that's about that's about all the teams that I got on my radar AFC-wise. I mean, we, we can't forget the Browns either. The Browns are the other one, too. Well, I've got to say that before we yeah. move on here to the next subject. No, the I Browns, sure. right? We I mean, can't leave them out, and we, I, especially the way they got embarrassed. Right, exactly. <laughs> got to think there's a chip on their shoulder, and you got to think if Deshaun Watson can, can yeah. get to what he was, which is, you know, again, we're it's this is a big year. It's it's year three of this contract. He's got to start providing. Hopefully, he can stay healthy. But if he can be somewhat what close to what he used to be, I mean, the Browns we know are uh -huh. set up. They're and an all-star team. And if Pittsburgh gets Decent quarterback play out of that room. Period. That's where I think it could, we could see some new teams maybe challenging the Chiefs a little this year. The That's Bengals are the yeah. world regulars, yep. but I think we could have some other teams infused in here. In That's this. what's so right. good about the NFL, right. right? The season ends, and we have these teams that we all kind of leave the season saying, these are the teams of the future. Right. And then the next season comes, and whether it's Pittsburgh or it was it Houston this year, one of these teams come out of nowhere, and it's like, oh, wow, we didn't expect that. So, hey, New England Patriots fans, it could be you. It could be you. <laughs> it won't be you. I can promise you that. Sorry, New England. <laughs> 
Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.